Thing one tonight, the president is back in D.C. today following a relaxing weekend in Florida, and this weekend marks the record-breaking 165th golf outing of his presidency. The president hit the links Sunday morning at his own Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach. It's a course where the president happens to have won the 2018 Men's Club Championship despite never playing in the tournament. Golf.com reported last month the president challenged the actual winner of the club championship to a winner-takes-all nine-hole playoff. The some president somehow won the playoff, and you now he's the champion with a wooden plaque on his locker to prove it. The question is, did the president cheat? I actually played golf with him with Anthony Anderson one day. Gotcha. And we were all playing together, and he, we clearly saw him hit a ball, hook a ball into a lake at Trump National in Jersey. And his caddy told him he found it. <laughs> we, that was the caddy soaking wet when he said this? No, he was not. Yeah, he, just, he just took off running, and next thing we know, I got it, Mr. Trump! And you're like, oh, did you see a splash? We saw a splash. We're learning a lot about just how much Trump cheats at golf, and that's thing two in 60 seconds. President Trump gets very upset at any accusation he cheats at golf. After actor Samuel L. Jackson told Seth Meyers a story about the president's hijinks on the links, Trump fired back on Twitter, quote, I don't cheat at golf, cheat at golf, but Samuel L. Jackson cheats with his game he has no choice and stop doing commercials. Burn. Well, in the new book, Commander in Cheat, How Golf Explains Trump, author Rick Riley describes the president as a prolific cheater. Shocking, I know. To say Donald Trump cheats is like saying Michael Phelps swims, Riley writes. He cheats at the highest level. He cheats when people are watching, and he cheats when they aren't. He cheats whether you like it or not. In one instance, playing with veteran PGA Tour bro, pro Brad Faxon, Trump dunked a shot into the lake, but as his opponents weren't looking, he simply dropped another ball and then hit that into the water, too. Former ESPN announcer Mike Tirico recounts another game with Trump when he hit a shot towards an elevated green he couldn't see. But when he got to the putting green, Tirico's ball was nowhere to be seen. Instead, it was 50 feet left of the hole in a bunker. Tirico was baffled until Trump's caddy came up to him and said, you know that shot you hit on par five? It was about 10 feet from the hole. Trump threw it in the bunker. I watched him do it. Well, at least the president doesn't go around bragging about his golf game or anything. Jeff actually watched me make a hole in one. Can you believe this? this I actually said I was the best golfer of all the rich people, <laughs> That's, to, be, to be exact. And then I got a hole in one. So it was sort of cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.